hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can use a custom connector in a canvas app and how we can process the response from the custom connector action which is a JSON format and bind to our labels for example whenever I am clicking this button I am calling this custom connector action whose name is get modern weather report does not matter what web API I am calling or what uh, external uh, endpoint I am using but I am calling this cost this uh, action using a custom connector and passing this informations and this returns a JSON value and this JSON format data is like this so first it will return a JSON object entirely which contains a your property called its location and inside this location property we have multiple properties and another current and inside that current we have weather reports available but this is completely a JSON format okay now how we can fetch related or uh, deep uh, or um, inner properties of a JSON object that we will discuss so I want to fetch this temperature this temperature C or centigrade is part of the current property and this current property is part of the main json object so how can you access that so to access that you have to take a variable here and store the return response in this variable and wherever you want to access your json properties you just go to that level and type the variable dot the pro inner properties so i want to access a property inside current so use current then dot if you use dot you can access all properties that is available inside the current property list okay in the JSON no need to use parse JSON you can directly use it so if you use temp you can get data so let me test it so let me use uh, London and if you click get weather data it will return the uh, response in JSON but I am fetching the exactly the temperature part of the uh, property available in the entire JSON object so this is the clue using the dot operator we can access its uh, related inner properties of the JSON object or the response but you have to use a variable thank you everyone watching this video stay tuned for next technical uh, technical videos please subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions